Skull Island. Kong Skull Island is a King Kong reboot that came out in 2017, directed by Jordan Vogue Roberts, and stars Tom Hiddleston, Samuel L. Jackson, Brie Larson, John Goodman, and John C. Riley. It takes place after the Vietnam War, where a team of scientists and military explore an uncharted island known as Skull Island to map out the surface of the island, until a huge gorilla known as Kong separates them into groups. One group comes across a former World War II pilot that has been stranded on Skull Island for almost 30 years, played by John C. Riley. Everyone tries to survive on this island, and they are also facing some creatures known as Skull Crawlers. Back in 2017, I remember being excited for this movie. I was looking forward to this movie. I like King Kong, and I really like the 2005 King Kong movie directed by Peter Jackson. To this day, this is still my favorite King Kong movie. I was looking forward to seeing this reboot in 2017, and I remember enjoying this movie in 2017. I thought it was another good addition to this MonsterVerse with this and 2014 Godzilla movie. And I've decided to review this film since this is also in the MonsterVerse with this and Godzilla. And also I reviewed this movie back in 2017 twice, and both of those reviews, like one I did when I was first starting movie reviews, and another one was a read to review out at the time it was out on Blu-ray and DVD. And personally, I didn't really like those reviews, so I thought this would be my final redo review for Kong Skull Island. And to this day, I still consider Kong Skull Island an entertaining movie. First on my positives, I really like that this was a period piece movie, that this movie takes place post-Vietnam War. The Vietnam War setting definitely worked for this movie. Definitely the look at the film, the cinematography in this film is great. This movie definitely reminded me of Apocalypse Now, but with King Kong, and I really like that. And I also really like the soundtrack of this movie, using a bunch of 70s songs in this movie, and I also thought that worked well, being in this Vietnam War era setting. I also like that this was a different King Kong movie, different to other versions we've seen. People going to Skull Island to shoot a movie, and the main actress starts a bond with Kong, but it wasn't like that. It was a different Kong story, and I liked it for what it was. This film being a very well shot and well directed movie, and I can definitely tell this film was shot on location, and it was used very well. I really liked the location, getting the scope of Skull Island. It looked all great, and the effects on Kong I thought were great. They definitely did a good job of making Kong feel like he's there and making him feel huge. And I really like the design for Kong in this movie. Although I do prefer the CGI in the 2005 film, I still really like the CGI in this movie. And I also like the creature effects too, the skull crawlers, the spider in one scene. There were a bunch of creature designs in this movie that I really liked and thought were pretty cool. Now out of the human characters, the two actors that stood out in this movie in my opinion were both Samuel L. Jackson and John C. Riley. And I thought Samuel L. Jackson was really good as always, playing this general who I wouldn't go so far as to say a villain. I mean, he does do bad things, but I feel like he was more of a misguided person than a villain in my opinion. And I also like that Samuel L. Jackson said one of his lines from Jurassic Park in this movie. I like that. And out of the heroes in this movie, easily my favorite is John C. Riley. Now admittedly he is playing this goofball character and before watching this movie I thought he was just gonna be this goofball character but I was surprised that they gave him a good backstory in this movie that he has been on Skull Island for almost 30 years so that definitely makes sense of why he is a bit crazy but they didn't make him a total idiot. He's still smart and intelligent while also having the film's best comedy and funniest lines in this movie. And John C. Riley was very entertaining in this movie. Definitely had the most heartfelt story in this movie. I cared about him in this movie. And honestly, if he ended up dying in this movie, I would have been upset. Out of the characters in this movie, he was my favorite. I thought John C. Riley did a good job in this role. There are some entertaining action scenes in this movie that are well shot well-directed, and also entertaining to watch, especially with the creatures. And also the fight scenes between Godzilla and the Skullcrawler, very entertaining to watch. I really like those sequences. Another sequence I liked in this movie was the sequence that takes place at a graveyard with the Skullcrawler, a group trying to survive. I really liked that scene. It was well shot and exciting. Really liked that scene. Sadly, I do have some flaws with this movie. I will get to those right now. First, a common criticism for this movie is that the characters don't get a lot of development, and I will admit 
There are some human characters in this movie that don't really get a lot of development, and there are still some good performance in this movie. I wouldn't say this was a poorly acted movie. Tom Hiddleston does a decent job, but his character is a bit underdeveloped. He's mostly a tracker guy, and they try developing him in this one scene where he talks to Brie Larson about his dad and just wasn't quite enough to make me just root for him and to care for him, and I love Tom Hiddleston. I think he's great, but... I felt like his character was underdeveloped. He was decent in this movie, but a bit underdeveloped. Brie Larson also did a fine job, but another underdeveloped character. She's mostly just there as a photographer, and it's pretty much it. And one character in this movie that I felt like was unnecessary was Toby Cable's character. I didn't feel like he added that much to the movie, and honestly, if he was just cut out this movie, I don't think a lot would change. There was also a subplot involving him writing notes to his son that didn't really go anywhere and, and didn't really add to anything. And also at times there are some sloppy editing in this movie and particularly in one scene where we first see Tom Hiddleston's character, he's playing pool and he gets in a fight with these guys and, and that scene I felt like was sloppily edited. Just watching that scene, just like, mmm, that's some sloppy editing right there. And finally, there are some iffy looking effects here and there that didn't quite look so good. There are still some good effects in this movie but a few just we're a bit iffy. But overall, I think Kong Skull Island is an entertaining monster movie, and I enjoyed watching it. It's another entertaining film in the monsterverse, and honestly, choosing which one I enjoy more, Godzilla or Kong Skull Island, which one would I watch more, which one I thought was more entertaining, honestly, I would say Kong Skull Island. I really like that this was a period piece. Samuel L. Jackson and John C. Riley are great. There are some entertaining sequences, good effects. I enjoyed watching this movie. And overall, I am going to give Kong Skull Island 3.5 stars out of 5. An entertaining monster movie. I enjoyed watching it. If you like this movie and if you're thinking about rewatching this movie, do give it a rewatch. It is an entertaining movie. If you don't like this movie or think it's okay, that's fine. I respect your opinion. But I enjoyed watching this movie and I don't think it's the best King Kong movie since I still say that's the Tucson 5 film. But I still thought this was an enjoyable film. So what do you guys think of Kong Skull Island? Do you agree? Disagree with me? Let me know below. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new here. It really means a lot. I'm Jack Benner, and look forward to another movie review.